Over now on the breaking news from the top of the program, sparked by our exclusive investigation into vets dying while waiting to see doctors at the Phoenix Veterans Hospital and two other facilities. The woman who runs the Phoenix Hospital tonight, along with two others on her staff, have just been placed on administrative leave. Their boss, Veterans Affairs Secretary Eric Shinseki, explaining in a statement, quote, these allegations, if true, are absolutely unacceptable. We've continually asked for an interview with him. He's refused. Less than 24 hours after we aired this report, this has occurred, which showed the VA director, Sharon Hellman, scurrying away in a car, driving away from our cameras, from our Drew Griffin. Then finally, she sat down with our Drew Griffin, trying to explain allegations that our hospital kept a secret list of veterans, each of whom had been waiting up to 21 months just to see a doctor. A retired doctor at that hospital and other sources say that secret list was being kept so that the public and Hellman's bosses would not know just how long veterans were waiting for care there or that up to 40 veterans died waiting to see a doctor. Those are the allegations that we've asked the Office of Inspector General to review. But those are the allegations I assume that you two would know direct knowledge of. Again, those allegations are ones that the Office of Inspector General are reviewing right now. When we heard about this during the House of Veteran Affairs Committee, is the first time we have heard about those allegations, and that is why we've asked the Office of Inspector General to come in and do a thorough and impartial review. Now, Sharon Hellman and her medical chief of staff denied the allegations of a secret list. However, just two hours ago, as we mentioned, VA Secretary uh, Shinseki announced that Hellman, along with her associate director and a third employee at the hospital, are now on administrative leave until further notice. Our investigative reporter, Drew Griffin, has been on this story from the start. He broke the story of the possible 40 deaths in secret list two weeks ago, joins us now. So, Drew, this news today is really the first indication we've had that Secretary Shinseki was showing any interest in this. Yes, and the VA secretary has been under fire, Anderson, not only from us, but from many in Congress for paying what they see is very little attention to cases across the country of veterans who have been dying, waiting for care at VA hospitals. It took these allegations of a hidden list to get him to finally act. But I want to show you what may also have prompted him to act today, in fact, just a couple hours ago. We've been trying to get an interview with Eric Shinseki, as you said, since last November. Last night, we told you about the 54 or so employees that work in his public affairs office to handle scheduling his interviews. Well, today we decided to try and reach every single one of them and ask them one more time for an on-the-record interview with Secretary uh, Shinseki. I'm calling to put in a formal request for an interview with Secretary Shinseki. We've been asking to speak to him for six months. We would really want to talk to him about delays in care at VA hospitals around the country. Allegations of a secret list at the Phoenix VA that could have contributed to as many as 40 veterans dying because of delayed care. And who is the best person that you'd recommend? Drew Brickey, okay. Okay, so it's Drew's decision whether or not the interview will happen? The slant on the story? No, I, I, well, we don't have a slant on the story, but we've been asking for the secretary's reaction to this and his comments and for him to respond for six months. Anderson, we called 20 different government numbers in that public affairs office. Five answered. Three of those people told us we needed to talk with a public affairs officer named Drew Brookie. And as you heard, one of them even asked what our slant was. Well, for the record, Drew Brookie is exactly the person we have been asking, emailing, calling, and trying to get an interview since November of last year. And the response has always been either we're going to get back to you or simply no. Well, today we have yet to hear back from Drew Brookie, but we did get this press release at 5.50 tonight announcing that the Phoenix VA director, Sharon Hellman, is now on leave. It's amazing Anderson. to me. I mean, these are, again, these are public officials that their job is to be transparent. Their job is to present information to the American public. I mean, the fact that they're like dodging and weaving, squealing off in their cars, running away from you, and that the head of the VA won't do an interview with you in all the months you've been investigating this, it just boggles my mind. I mean, this started back, back in November. We got questions about delays in care for, from several VA hospitals, not just Phoenix. And I mean, Congress has been that, asking that questions is actually, about this. Yeah, that is exactly, exactly right. The lack of a response is becoming a bit of a sick joke. We know at least 23 veterans died because they were delayed care at veterans hospitals. That is what the VA has admitted to. 
23. We know several veterans died in Pittsburgh because of Legionella bacteria that was running through the water system in the VA hospital, and VA officials there tried to hide that fact from patients and even staff. And now it is alleged 40 veterans died in Phoenix waiting for care. It's, and, 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 and also waiting for care, many of them on a secret list so their names would remain hidden. Yet there is no one being held accountable. And all of these letters, I want to show you all these letters. These are from members of Congress and the Senate asking Eric Shinseki exactly what and who is being held accountable for all this mess. And the House Veterans Affairs Committee it says the lack of response, Anderson, is so bad. This is what they are doing in Congress. They're keeping an electronic tally on its website. Every time a reporter, a member of Congress, or a government official or committee does not get any response, and tonight again, you can add one more to that list. Our request today for an interview with VA Secretary Eric Shinseki is now being ignored. And I mean, I, again, you know, everybody, every politician, Everybody in government loves to say that, you know, veterans, uh, you know, they've served our country and they deserve the best care possible. They don't deserve to be waiting for months just to see a doctor. I mean, we're not even talking about, you know, a course of treatment. I mean, these are people who've served our country just to see a doctor. They are waiting for months. That is outrageous. It really is. You know, the vets get political lip service every time there's an election. Both parties go down to these VA uh, veterans conferences. They talk a good game. They talk about improving benefits and access to health care. They also, specifically in this last election, talked about transparency and even specifically talked about cutting down wait times. People in office right now, in fact, the person that's in the White House talked about that. That's why this is so disturbing, the lack of transparency and until now, the lack of any action. 